Lazio's capital city, Rome, is the birthplace of many famous dishes, including this one. Cada alla vaccianare, or braised oxtail. And in here is my lovely oxtail, the tail of the cow. And you'll be surprised at how meaty they are and how fall off the bone tender they will become. Now let me share my thoughts with you on oxtail. Yes, it's the tail, which means it's a muscle that gets used a lot. And any muscle on any animal that gets used a lot tends to be tougher, and that's why slow braising is perfect for this dish. But with all that bone, connective tissue, and a little cartilage, it is gonna be packed full of great flavor. And that's why I love a good braised oxtail. First step, a really good sear. I wanna brown the outside, cause that's gonna give me a wonderful color foundation to my sauce, crispen up the outside, and add more dimension of flavor. Now, in the bottom of the pan, there's lots of great sticky flavor, brown bits that are gonna add flavor. In addition to that, celery, onion, carrots, and garlic. Also known in Italy as a sofrito. And what this sofrito does, it brings in the lighter, sweeter, delicate flavors of the vegetable base. It's about balance, a wonderful counterpoint to the big, deep, rich flavor of oxtail. Now a little tomato paste. That too adds its own dimension of flavor, but it also helps to thicken my sauce. And I like to toast it off on the bottom of a hot pan. It'll bring in some color. And my wine of choice is a big boisterous Barolo because it is deep in flavor, has some tannins, and has a dark, rich color to it. And my wine, I want that to reduce a little, burn off all the alcohol, and intensify those great flavors. And just take a look at the color of this great sauce. Come on then, take a look. <laughs> now my oxtail can go back into the pot. Whenever you sear off anything like this, I guarantee you, you'll have some juices left in the bottom of the dish. They never go to waste. And just a little tomato sauce. And some good beef broth. Just enough to cover those oxtails. A little more seasoning. The lid goes on. And we simmer. This looks incredible. The sauce is so dark and rich looking. Wonderful braised oxtail. Just a little parsley. And I want to show you this. that just falls right off the bone. So tender.
deep, big, savory flavors from all of that oxtail. Balanced beautifully with the lightness from the sufrito, 